Vice President Kamala Harris has picked Minnesota Governor Tim Walz to be her running mate, turning to a Midwestern governor, military veteran, and union supporter who helped enact an ambitious Democratic agenda for his state, including sweeping protections for abortion rights and generous aid to families. In choosing the 60-year-old Walls, Harris hopes to shore up her campaign standing across the upper Midwest, a critical region in presidential politics that often serves as a buffer for Democrats seeking the White House. But the party remains haunted by Republican Donald Trump's wins in Michigan and Wisconsin in 2016. Walls, who grew up in the small town of West Point, Nebraska, was a social studies teacher, football coach, and union member before he got into politics. He won the first of six terms in Congress in 2006 from a mostly rural southern Minnesota district and used the office to champion veterans' issues. Walls served 24 years in the Army National Guard, rising to command Sergeant Major, one of the highest enlisted ranks in the military. He ran for governor in 2018 on the theme of One Minnesota, defeating Hennepin County Commissioner Jeff Johnson by over 11 points. During that term, he governed through the COVID-19 pandemic and the protests that emerged in the wake of the murder of George Floyd. Republicans still criticize Walls for his response to the sometimes violent unrest that followed the murder of George Floyd by a Minneapolis police officer in 2020, which included the torching of a police station. But Walls won re-election in 2022 by nearly eight points over his GOP challenger. Not only did Walls win, Democrats kept control of the House and flipped the Senate to win the trifecta of full control of both chambers and the governor's office for the first time in eight years. Some of Walls and other Democrats' proudest accomplishments include protections for abortion rights and enacting protections for trans rights. The other major accomplishments included tax credits for families with children that were aimed at slashing childhood poverty, as well as universal free school breakfasts and lunches for all school kids, regardless of family income. Putting walls on the ticket could help Democrats hold the state's 10 electoral votes and bolster the party more broadly in the Midwest.